Hi guys! Welcome back to my channel and welcome if you are new. Please hit the subscribe button because I would love to have you stick around. Today's video is going to be my January favourites. I'll be the first to admit that January hasn't been my favourite month. It's been a bit up and down in terms of workload slash mental health slash personal life. However, I'm excited for the next few months. Today I'm going to go through my January favourites and I will link everything I can in the description box below. So be sure to check that out. My first favourite, which I am currently wearing, is this pink jumper. And of course it's covered in cat hair, like everything I own. But if you follow me on Instagram or any social media, you'll see that I do tend to wear this quite a lot just because it's quite comfortable to wear working from home. Um, and my nine to five job is working from home. <laughs> it's just really easy to throw on. It's really comfy. It's really warm. So it's been great throughout winter. I just thought I would mention it. And secondly, the other thing I'm wearing is these little hoop earrings, which I picked up from ASOS um, in the middle of the month, and I really like them. At first I wasn't sure whether I could pull them off. To be fair, I'm still not sure if I can pull them off. However, I'm sticking with them. They're only about £4 and you get three pairs, so I thought, why not? My next favourite, which you might see me grabbing throughout this video, is this mug. I got two of these from Tesco, they were reduced to £3 and they are the biggest mugs I think I own. I'm a bit of a mug hoarder, if I'm honest. Um, and if you ever come to my house, you'll see that we have a huge selection of different types of mugs, different size mugs, different collections of mugs. So I thought these would complement that. And they're just the best. I've used them for pretty much every hot drink I've had throughout January, and I just love them. Next favourite is this bullet journal. I actually picked this up when we were in Prague at the end of December and I wasn't sure how much I was going to use it. I'm more of a to-do list person when it comes to my blog and YouTube and work. So I wasn't sure whether I would actually enjoy having a sort of diary that's not a diary. Um, if you don't know what bullet journal is, basically it's just a notebook that is full of blank pages and they're all dotted. I'm not sure if that's going to show up on camera. You can make it into any sort of space you want. So I personally have my big year events in it and then also have some newsletter scheduling ideas, and my social media stats for the for week on week so I can see if my channels are growing, which hopefully they are. Um, I've got my YouTube ideas, my blog ideas, split into all the different categories that I write about and then I have my week split into days. Um, I won't show you too much because I'm not sure how interesting it will be but I found it really really useful and the fact that it's pink is just even better. Oh god. <laughs> and it only cost me about three pounds as well which is brilliant for a bullet journal and if you don't know what they are but you want to find out more information I'll link a couple of videos down below in the description box because I was a bit dubious about whether it would work for me and my lifestyle and I've absolutely loved it so far. If you're looking for some sort of way to structure your life, I definitely recommend picking one up. They have a dedicated bullet journal as well, um, which I think you can get on Amazon. I think it's about £20, so it is more expensive, but if you're considering it, then it's a really good investment. I hope you enjoy bullet journaling if you want to. My next favourite is the This Works Deep Sleep Pillow Spray and if you follow me on social media you'll know that I've, re I've really been struggling to sleep in January. I can't tell you why. I don't know if it's work stress, social life stress or just a time of the year where I'm struggling to sleep. So I started asking online whether... Sorry my throat's quite dry. So I started asking online for what people recommended and this came up again and again so I purchased it. It's not the cheapest thing, it's £18, it's quite a small bottle but I think this will last me hopefully a good couple of months as well so it works out quite okay. And so far so good, it's really been helping and what I've noticed is when I'm reading at night, so what I'll normally do is I'll spray this, go get ready for bed and then come back and read and whilst I've been reading this has sort of kicked in and I can feel my eyes getting heavier, I can feel myself getting a little bit more tired so I can only think that this is working um, unless my body's just at the point of exhaustion which I'm hoping it's not because I'm still waking up quite okay and quite refreshed. 
and I can only point it out to this if you are struggling to sleep or you have trouble if you wake up quite a lot in the middle of the night which I do as well and this has stopped it stopped me doing it as much then definitely give this a whirl my next favourite is a little bit of a boring one but basically I bought this bottle from Wilco's a couple of weeks ago Wilco's or Wilco? either way, Wilkinson I think it used to be called you know, you know where I mean but um, I wanted one of the Chili's bottles I don't know if you will have seen them but they're basically like a metal bottle you can get at 500 mils or 800 mils um, but they're about 20 to 30 pounds and I couldn't bring myself to purchasing one of Monas. When I saw this, I thought I've got to pick it up. It was only five pounds. I really like the color. They had a few different colors as well. Keeps cold drinks really, really cold and it keeps hot drinks lovely and warm. So definitely enjoyed this this month. My next favorite is a food one and it's these Gray's Protein Bites. They're the banana and oat flavor. I actually bought these on Amazon. They cost me about five pounds and I think I've got about 15 of them. So they're quite good value. I started upping my exercise routine as well so when I get a sugar rush about sorry when I need sugar <laughs> about 3 p.m at night and I know I'm going to the gym in the evening I'll pick one of these up there's about 150 calories in them and I can't remember how many grams of protein are in them but what does it say on the back five grams of protein <laughs> um so yeah it's been a really good way to see me through the afternoon and for me not to be hungry before I go to the gym as well and anything with extra protein is always going to be good for you and they're very nice and sweet as well and I love banana flavored things so here we go. Next favourite is something I actually picked up back in November when I went to the World Duty Free event and it's this lipstick by Bobbi Brown. It's basically just a really nice nudie pink colour. It's my perfect colour really and I'm not a huge lipstick wearer which is why I'm only including it in the January favourites because well firstly I didn't do a December favourites but it probably wouldn't have been in there because it's not something I usually reach for. However We've been out for a few meals and a few drinks and things like that and it's something that I've worn pretty much every time I've been out. The shade is A48 Pink Cloud and yeah I just think it's a really lovely lipstick. I think it retails about £23 so it isn't the cheapest and I'm sure you could probably find more affordable dupe on the high street but if you wanted to splash out and you're looking for a new sort of pinky nude for springtime then I definitely recommend this shade. One of the things I wanted to do in 2019 was to read more. I really got into my reading towards the end of 2018 and I think I averaged about 12 books throughout the year which is pretty good. I just thought I would talk about four of the books that I've read this month. Here they are. Firstly, I'll start with the In the Fro, The New Fashion Rules. I'm not a huge, well, I love fashion. I can't say I'm the most fashionable person in the world, but this book is just absolutely beautiful. I don't know if you can see it if I scroll through, but there's so much attention to detail put in here. It goes through five new fashion rules, and I just think it's an absolutely amazing book. It took me about two days to read. It's just a lovely coffee table book. It's a nice size as well, so it'll fit in your handbag if you're taking it on the train or the bus or wherever your commute is. I love Victoria and because she's a Manchester blogger as well. I just wanted to support her. So definitely give this a whirl if you're into fashion or even if you're not and just want a nice book to read. Definitely choose this one. My next book is An Edited Life by Anna Newton. I don't know if you know that much about Anna, but she's a blogger, YouTuber, and she's one of my absolute favourites. Um, this book is all about how she's edited her life down. I don't want to give too much away because it's a really, really good read and it's set out into three different sections. So it's life, work and home and it's how you can reduce the outside stress in your world and edit your life down so you have a nice, crisp, clean palette to work from. But yeah, it's been a really, really good read. Again, this is something I read in about three to four days just because I couldn't really put it down and the way that Anna writes as well is amazing because it sounds like you're having a conversation with her and if you watch her YouTube videos you'll understand what I mean because she's very very personable and it comes across really really well in the book. I got this on the release date from Amazon and it cost me about 11-12 pounds so it's not ridiculously expensive either and I don't know if this will show up but the writing's really small, which could scare some people off. It didn't scare me off. I just think it's a lovely looking book as well and it'll look nice on a bookshelf when I go to put it back. If you're into your organisation and you're into your life organisation and your work organisation, then definitely put this up because it helps you streamline all of those processes into a nice, easy, edited life. Next two books, I've got The Wrong Knickers and Hot Mess. These two books 
of a really, really easy reading. I actually finished this one on New Year's Day, so I'm counting it into my January favourites. And I finished this one at the start of the month. This is the, the one I read straight after The Wrong Knickers. They're quite similar in a way. They're all about kind of millennial girls finding themselves, going through all the trials and tribulations that I'm sure that most of us do. But they're really good stories. Um, easy to read, as I say. If you want something that's fun and light-hearted, then either one of these two, or both of them, but maybe don't read them one after the other like I did because your brain just, my, my brain just couldn't handle the fact that their lives weren't that dissimilar, so I kept having to reread pages to remind myself where I was up to in each book. But maybe that's just me, who knows? <laughs> but yeah. And my last favourites are two food favourites. So if you're in the Trafford, Cheshire, Altrincham area, a new restaurant's just opened called Karam in Hale Village. I went there with Jordan and his mum for a meal. It was very, very kindly gifted to us, so we got to choose what we wanted to eat, which was really nice. I've written a blog post about it, so I'll link it down below. And the food was amazing. It's Lebanese, but the restaurant is beautiful. It's got Moroccan-inspired decor. It's got beautiful cushions. The waiters and the waitresses were just so, so nice. They're so knowledgeable. They recommended loads of dishes to us. And we love Lebanese food, and we still got to try some new things as well, which was lovely. And the second recommendation of mine is Avuna. We went to the Northern Quarter one at the start of the month, and the food was just incredible. I absolutely love Spanish food. I love tapas. I love anything to do with Spain. And this did not disappoint in the slightest. We shared about six or seven tapas dishes, which sounds like a lot, but we ate every single last bite because it was just incredible. So if you're in Manchester, you're looking for somewhere to go, either go to Avina in the city centre, or if you're in the suburbs of Manchester, then head to Karam because both amazing and I'll link both the blog posts below which I've reviewed where, where, where I have reviewed them both so keep a look out for them and they're my January favourites so I hope you've really enjoyed this video I really enjoyed making it and I'm hoping to do this on a monthly basis now so everything I've mentioned will be in the description box as will all my social channels so if you do have any questions or you want to find out more information about anything that I've mentioned just give me a DM slide into those DMs or my email address will be below as well so if you do have anything further you want to have a chat with me about then just let me know I'm happy to hear from you all and thanks for watching bye